the European Central Bank digital currency, if it comes into play soon, this will be the worst type of money which has ever been available to humans. If you are not rescuing yourself with Bitcoin, you might be a prisoner until the end of your dear life. Today for the Bitcoin price, believe it or not, but the European Central Bank has published their own Bitcoin-like white paper and announced that they want to release their own cryptocurrency. We will go into their white paper here and show you all the flaws, show you all the recklessness and um, their plan actually to control you even more. You do not want to miss out on that and even more important for the Bitcoin price, we will go out, zoom out into the monthly and show you exactly what support level we are looking at right now, which was validated by 11 months during 2018. So guys, make sure you take a seat, make sure you smash up the like button right now. And that being said, welcome crypto friends and welcome back to MM Crypto. My name is Chris. And as always, we are pumped AF to go straight into the content, especially with that ECB topic. First of all, we go into the Bitcoin price. And as we said, we are zooming out into the monthly. We have been talking about that exact level three weeks ago. And look at it right now. We are coming very close. So what we were saying back then was that the monthly candles, the open and the close levels are actually validating significant support and resistance levels throughout the bull and bear markets, not only in this cycle, not only in the cycle before, but ever since Bitcoin was created and had price history denominated here in the charts. So what we are doing right now is we are showing you this level here, the monthly closes of December and, um, uh, and January here in 2017 slash 18. But even more important, this level where you can see this candle closed and this candle opened, if we are just putting it right here, you can see that this exact candle here on the monthly candles was validated one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, even yeah, like somehow 11 times. And what's the important thing? We have been covering that already um, back in this month here in November. Now we have December. And what we have been saying back then was that unfortunately in that exact moment here, we came very close, but we did not hit that level yet. So for the price of Bitcoin coming down right now, that might be only if we hold this level might be even a good thing because finally hitting that level would validate this resistance level, uh, this support level and would actually give us the opportunity of a significant bounce and maybe a change in the key market structure. Because <clears throat> if we are zooming out a little bit, this has been just as a reminder, has been repeating over and over again, the close of these monthly candles were significant resistance here and afterwards significant support. If we go into the weekly, it will get even more clear. And um, I mean, it is basically for everything. Also here, these candles, it was significant support. And here, I mean, it cannot get even more obvious than this. It was crazy resistance. And once we broke through, we finally got into that bull market. And I mean, we could go onto the BLX and check it out for the cycle even before, but you will find the exact same if you do your own research. Going here into the weekly, we can even see that we did not hit that level yet. So going back right now, only if we hold it, that might be a pretty bullish thing. If we get a bounce here and even confirm it a little bit, that might bring some um, yeah, key market structure change back into the Bitcoin price. We do not want to be like here, irrational boom, moon boyish. Of course, if we were not to hold this and if you go to the VPVI and you check the volume profile, you will see there is a lot of thin air and 5,400 is actually a very reasonable target. The resistance level we are looking at right Right now is approximately 6,400, 6,420. I mean, it really depends on how you draw it. It could even go down to 6,300. If you drag it down a little bit more like this here, you will find it's like 6,330. But around in these areas, we are looking out for the next support. But now, guys, it is getting more important. We are going to the central bank. Um, just very important. If you haven't watched our yesterday's video here, Bitcoin crashing to 5,400. We are doing a little bit more in-depth um, TA. If you want to see that, there is a link down in the description. Also, the video is popping up on top of the screen right now. Click it if you haven't watched it already. But now, guys, 
take a seat, you do want to see that. Because the European Central Bank just tweeted something and they said our latest research. Guys, make sure you stay here until the end. You have to see that. This is more important, more significant than the Facebook Libra news. And you know what happened back then. So our latest research shows that it is possible to build a simplified payment system for central banks' digital currencies. Such a system would safeguard users' privacy for low value transactions while ensuring that higher value transactions transfers are subject to anti-money laundering checks. And you can see they published their white paper. We will go into that and we will show you just within a few minutes the, all the flaws of that and how they are actually putting you even more into a prison. So we will also go into the white paper and show you all the flaws and how they want to put you in prison basically. And we will show you a very interesting statistics of the interest rates and tell you exactly why the European Central Bank is the first one to issue this kind of cryptocurrency, if you want to call it like that. And you know what, guys, this is just too much of importance and significance not to show it to you right now. So what we have here is the central bank summary of current interest rates. And you can see the direction of the interest rates. It's going down, down for every single um, central bank out there. And you know, whenever there is the interest rate close to zero, that the central bank itself has run out of their power to control the economy actually and you can see for the federal reserve it's 1.75 percent which is low af but if we are going to the european central bank they have already lost their whole power which is the reason why they are heavily flooding the system already with money and you can see they just went from 0.05 percent down to zero percent so on spot on point when they lost the whole, the whole power they are actually issuing that white paper and you can see even some central banks out there like the swedish one or um, yeah the the japanese one here and um, they are already below zero percent which is completely senseless it makes no sense at all if you look at it rationally but um yeah the Euro European Central Bank, it is um, with the Federal Reserve, the biggest one in the world out there, and maybe also the Chinese one, they have lost their whole power. And this is, of course, one of the reasons why this is coming right now. So we will go into the white paper. But here, very important, we answered them. Fiat currency, this is only fiat currency we packaged with a buzzword to enhance privacy of institutions and to make the population more transparent all flaws of traditional fiat are still valid bitcoin is here to save us from the recklessness printing of money with which the explosion gets only postponed guys go to that tweet it is in the pinned comment down below like our video and leave some love for the bitcoin community in the comment section of this tweet but now let's go into that white paper and guys you do want to sit down because otherwise you might be falling down because this crazy wording and and like um message they are sending out to us here is extremely surprising so what they are saying here exploring anonymity in central banks digital currency so the second word already is anonymity and this is already so paradox but we will go further into it because with their wording and also how they explain this cryptocurrency they are actually um yeah, neglecting what they are saying here already in the second world. So what they are saying is allowing a certain degree of privacy in electronic payments and ensuring compliance with regulations aimed at tackling money laundering and the financing of terrorism. And now here, this word alone, coordination of the ECB. If there is a central coordinator, this is not a cryptocurrency as we know it with Bitcoin. This is not decentralized. This is not private. This is not anonymous at all. In, in the best case, it is transparent like um, the Bitcoin blockchain, but only for those transactions you, me or other people are doing, but not of those um, interbanking transactions or institutional transactions, um, which um, will be probably safe from that transparency. So if we are going further down, they are saying we are using distributed ledger technology in no word in the whole white paper you cannot see them using the word blockchain once using the word bitcoin once they are giving no credit whatsoever to the basic foundation of what they are talking here about which is kind of um yeah like it's it's just horrible not to do that 
So what they are saying here is the Eurochain was set up by the ECB as a learning tool for Europe's central banking community. There are currently 18 national banks taking part in the voluntary um, initiative. I mean, it's it's funny here, it's 18 um, central banks within the European central banking community, but we know in the whole world, all central banks are actually doing quantitative easing as we talked about it yesterday. And um, here the ECB is the first one to bring out this cryptocurrency. And only very important before we wrap this up, what they are saying is, and now pay close attention, the proof of concept is based on four main principles. We will now focus on two. So the second one, the design is built around intermediaries in a two-tier model. We will show you a picture how that works. Because if they are intermediaries, that makes no sense. Go into the Bitcoin white paper, guys. I mean, this is not what we are here for. Is someone is now saying, "Oh, the central bank is doing it. This must, that must be more secure." I will do. I will use the euro chain euro. No, guys, because why we are here for is the permissionlessness. It is a purely peer-to-peer, -peer, no financial institution in between version of electronic cash, which would allow online payments to be sent directly from one party to another without going through a financial institution. So you can see fundamentally, this is a completely different thing. Third, the central bank is the only entity that is allowed to issue CBDC, central bank digital currency units, and remove them from circulation. So when they issue you um, euros, they are printing it, buying um, government bonds and other things on, this, um, on the secondary market. This is exactly what is still going to happen in the future with the um, cryptocurrency of the European Central Bank. And also remove them from circulation. This is simply just as something like paying off debt and then they are destroying the central currency. So they are still the central um, institution issuing and destroying the currency and there will be nothing to prevent them to further inflate the market with fiat currency. So this is just a repackaging of fiat currency. Nothing will actually change, guys. Everything will get even worse. You will lose completely your whole privacy. There will be no physical cash you can buy your bread with. You will probably Probably only buy it with European, cent um, European Central Bank digital currency, you will lose your whole anonymity, you will lose your whole privacy and all the good things which came with cash actually. So also a fourth ded dedicated AML authority per performs AML CFT checks that authority checks the identities of users involved in large value transactions. So who decides which transaction is actually large and which not? There will be probably no algorithm involved um, saying, okay, now we can check it, now we can make AML and now not. It will be always the central bank deciding we are checking for AML right now or we are not checking it. So, um, I mean... They can just take the privacy away from you once again in that um, DLT. Here it is. Perfect. So we were searching for that. 12 intermediaries nodes then initiates the transfer by following a process that varies depending on whether the AML authority is involved in the transaction. I mean, guys, come on. If you have 12 nodes and in Bitcoin you have thousands and everyone can open one. And if you only have 12 nodes being held by central institutions, by the ECB, by maybe the different countries or so, country governments, I mean... They are friends with each other. They are sitting sometimes in the same parliaments and Brussels and stuff. I mean, there is no decentralization involved in that. Please make sure that you're aware of that fact. And here you can see you have the central institution, then you have the intermediaries, and here you are as the user. So you have all the flaws of the fiat currency and... You have on top of that the transparency and only the transparency of the Bitcoin blockchain. But this transparency is only being provided to the central bank, but not to you. The European Central Bank digital currency, if it comes into play soon, this will be the worst type of money which has ever been available to humans. If you are not rescuing yourself with Bitcoin, you might be a prisoner until the end of your dear life. So guys, let us know what you think about that. What do you think about the European Central Bank digital currency? Do you think it will be better or worse than Bitcoin? There is a poll popping up on top of the screen right now. Make sure you click it and we want to see a 100% for worse than Bitcoin, guys. Also, leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Make sure you smash up the like button for that video today. And if you want to support us, you know we have a Bybit link here. You get $90 for free just by clicking that link and signing up within 24 seconds. But disclaimer, this is only for experienced traders and always hold on to the majority of your Bitcoin for the long term. That being said, guys, thank you so much for watching and we will see each other tomorrow at the next one of MM Crypto. And as always, guys, as always.
Bye-bye.